In this video presentation, we will discuss about the Southern Blotting Technique. A technique to identify the specific DNA sequence from the isolated DNA in molecular biology. Southern blotting is a technique used in molecular biology for detecting a specific DNA sequence in the DNA samples. The technique is named after the British biologist Edwin Southern, who first published it in 1975. In this technique, a DNA probe with a specific known sequence is used to identify the DNA sequence in the sample. These probes are oligonucleotides, with a minimum of 25 complementary bases length to the target sequence. This is an overview on southern blotting technique. The first step is DNA extraction, that is isolation of DNA. The second step is, restriction site digestion of isolated DNA, using restriction endonuclease enzyme. Third step. Followed by digestion. Agarose gel electrophoresis is done, for separation of the digested DNA fragments based on their size. Fourth step. Transfer of DNA fragment, that is blotting, from gel, to nitrocellulose membrane. Final step. Followed by denaturation, probe hybridization. DNA probe is used, to identify the DNA sequence. The first step. Extraction, or isolation of DNA, from the target cell. Here, the DNA is separated from the other cellular contents. Detailed DNA extraction protocol is discussed in previous video presentation. Step 2. Restriction Site Digestion, using restriction endonuclease enzyme. By restriction digestion, the DNA strand is cut into smaller fragments. Step 3. Following redigestion, the digested sample, that is the DNA fragments are ran over the agarose gel electrophoresis using horizontal electrophorectic apparatus, to separate the DNA fragments, based on their size that is based on their base pair length. On gel electrophoresis, the smaller fragments, move fast. And the larger fragments, stays behind. These agarose gels are fragile and delicate to handle. So it is not possible to do the further processing like DNA probe hybridization in this gel matrix. Step 4. Transfer of separated DNA fragments, from gel, to the nitrocellulose membrane is done. It is made possible by capillary action, by using the following setup. Place the agarose gel over the sponge, which in turn placed in a buffer tank or tray. Over the gel, place the nitrocellulose membrane. Pressure is applied evenly over the gel, by placing a stack of filter paper, and a weight on top of the membrane and gel, to ensure good and even contact between gel and membrane. On overnight incubation, due to capillary action of the buffer which moves against the gravity, the DNA fragments in the gel which is negatively charged also moves along, transferred and binds to the positively charged nitrocellulose membrane. Next step. Following transfer, treat the membrane to the denaturation buffer, to separate the complementary strand, from the target DNA sequence, that is, double strand to single strand DNA. The last step. The target DNA over the nitrocellulose membrane, is identified by using a DNA probe with a specific sequence. This process is called DNA probe hybridization. This DNA probe, are labeled with radioactive isotopes, to visualize the presence of the target DNA, on X-ray film by autoradiography. With this we are coming to the end of Southern Blotting. In next video presentation we will discuss in detail on Northern Blotting. Hope the lecture is informative and useful. Thank you.